I got a green thumb. There's a tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grows all around, all around. And the green grass grows all around. <sighs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of what I've all been doing, you know, behind the scenes at Miss Angela's house, which you know, involves plants. I have been really into indoor house plants, and why, you may ask? Well, if you guys have been following me, um, some of you on YouTube, some of you on Periscope and Instagram, you guys will know that I have been really big into the Marie Kondo way of living, and um, it basically means that I've just been kind of cleaning up my house, cleaning out my life, getting rid of the things that I don't need anymore, getting rid of the clutter with the exception of my candles because I will not be getting rid of those anytime soon. But anyway, and just kind of like living a more simpler life without all of the clutter surrounding me. And it does amaze me that my mind has kind of opened up and um, I just, I feel more relaxed. I feel more at ease. Um, I'm comfortable now and excited when I come home because it's kind of a very relaxed atmosphere now. Whereas before I had so much clutter coming into my home that, you know, it was hard for me to concentrate. It was hard for me to um, get excited when I came home because there was just clutter everywhere. But anyway, so I did that, done that. I'm pretty much finished with doing that. I have two more uh, bedrooms left to go. I have my study and I have um, the extra third bedroom to do. So what I have noticed and what Marie Kondo basically says is after you're done um, condifying, or I call it quasimodoing your house, you'll notice that something is missing. It seems maybe a little empty because you got rid of a lot of things and you're used to the clutter. And one of the ways to uh, rectify that situation is house plants. Now, I only have one house plant and I've had this house plant gosh for oh dear I would say probably eight years um, it started out as a very small plant that my mom gave me and it just kind of grew and grew and grew and now it is this ginormous plant I can never remember the name of this plant but um I named it Jasmine. Some of you guys have probably seen it on the weekend vlog I'll show you right now. So this is Jasmine. She is beautiful. She is gorgeous. I touch her every day. And yes, she's a big one. She's a real big one. So for some odd reason, Jasmine has not died. Every single time I have an indoor plant, they always die. And I feel it's because I actually named her. I gave her a name when I water her. I talk to her like she's a living thing, which actually she is a living thing. And you guys may think I have gone completely mad and insane, but it is what it is. So today I'm going to show you guys, I have bought three indoor plants recently from Hallmark. Um, two out of the three, I believe, were on clearance. So they're very inexpensive. And for the pots, I just basically repurposed some things that I already had in my home. So let me show you what I got. So you guys might have to help me on the names of these plants because I don't know if I can pronounce them or not. But you guys, I repurposed a candle jar. So this is the candle jar by DW Home. And the reason I use this is because my study and my filming area all have this color, um, this kind of, I don't know, what is this, a bluish, greenish, more so blue, I guess, color. But yeah, I just thought that this was super cute. Now, this is one of the plants um, that were on the smaller side that I bought. The other two were a little bit larger, so I needed a larger container. And I did try to fit the other two in um, a Yankee Candle large jar or a Goose Creek large jar and it just wouldn't fit. The opening of the candle is not wide enough uh, for those plants. I would have to get something really small like this. But, okay, so I'm going to take, I save these little things. I usually, I put them in there. I just bought some potting soil, which was like a huge bag of it for like under $3. And this little plant here was $2 and some odd cents. I don't know. But this one is called... I am a Pilea Panam, P-I-L-E-A Panam. 
It is low light, which, I mean, it's going to be in the study, so it's not going to be in direct sunlight, but it is going to get some sunlight. Um, it says it's fun to collect fertilization every month. Well, I'm probably not going to do that because I don't know how to do that. The temperature is 65 to 80 degrees. Water usage high. So I have to water this probably, I don't know, maybe two times a week. Um, indirect light, meaning low light, and the growth rate is medium. So yeah, this is my little plant, you guys. I'm super excited. She's super cute. What should we name her? I'm thinking Pamela for this one. So this is going to be plant number one. I want you guys to leave comments down below, one, two, and three, and then a name for each plant. And I will let you guys know in one of the weekend vlogs what I decide to name all of them. Guys, we do have to name these plants because I feel like if I don't name them, they're not going to live. So this next one is an aloe plant. Now this pot I'm keeping in my bedroom. I feel as though this is just gorgeous. I just love it. This is the aloe plant. I don't want any of the dirt to come out. This was $4 at Walmart and it's like spiky. I think, and think aloe is a succulent. Is that what a succulent is? I don't know you guys, but anyway, I repurposed this. My mom gave me this vase Oh my gosh, you guys, a long, long time ago, I was actually going to Virage it. I had it listed on Virage for $2. Nobody bought it. I was going through my things to try to figure out what I was going to put this aloe plant in, and I decided that this would be perfect because it's purple. It's going to go in my room right in front of my um, little nightstand area, like right in front of this window, actually. So anyway, this one needs high light. And it is the aloe flow. Um, easy to grow, fertilization six months, temperature 70 to 90 degrees, which is kind of going to be a little hard, I think, because, I mean, I'm in Wisconsin. Uh, water usage is light. They tell me not to overwater this son of a bitch. And indirect high light. So, yeah. Oh, and the growth on this is medium as well. So, I'm just going to stick this back in here. And this is plant number two, so leave a comment as to what I should name plant number two, aloe. Okay, and this is the last plant, plant number three. I actually bought this vase at TJ Maxx in Oshkosh. I got it for $6. I was expecting to get a planter not as big as this. I wanted to get one a little bit smaller, but I'm glad that I got one uh, this big because this plant actually fits perfectly in it. So, let me read what this plant is. This is, uh, oh, shoot, Fit Fitiona, F-I-T-T-O-N-I-A, Pink Angel. I don't know. Low light, easy to grow, fertilization every month. We won't be doing that. Temperature 65 to 80 degrees. Water usage is medium and indirect light, and the growth rate is fast. So I am glad that I actually got a bigger plant uh, pot for this plant because I feel like she's going to be fast. And all of these plants are girls, by the way, it, with the exception of this one. This one could be a boy, the number one. So number one could be a boy or a girl, or it could be a gay boy. Who knows? He, he could go either way. Um... The aloe is definitely a girl, and this one is a girl as well. So if you guys could help me out, again, plant number one, plant number two, and plant number three. You guys, I'm up to my ears in greenery. I've got the green thumb. Okay, so everyone leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all soon. Bye, everyone.